I took the oath to be uh, the best that I can and give them all that I have, and, and I believe I've done so. Camden City Mayor Frank Moran, a huge cheerleader for the city he's always called home, is speaking out tonight about his resignation and not seeking re-election. My uh, professional career here in the great city of Camden for me has been a ministry. Preaching, Camden is better off now with new corporations like American Water, a new waterfront hotel, and crime on the decrease. Neighborhoods are safer because police officers have uh, garnered the support of the neighbors and the trust. In just the last two years, Camden has seen significant turnover in leadership, saying farewell to school superintendent Paymon Rohanifard, as well as not just one, but two police chiefs. What do you attribute that turnover to? Uh, this is unlike any other job. Uh, you have to be cut out for it. Um, in life, it comes to a point in time when one has to uh, make a decision on what the future holds, and I have that opportunity to literally um, end this chapter uh, turn the page and start a new chapter. Moran also wants Camden to rise above COVID and says the next seven weeks, vaccine deliveries will prove to be a godsend to his city. We're giving out uh, vaccines at the BBNT Center through FEMA. Uh, we're going to be doing a total of about 1,800 in week one, 1,800 in week two. On the decision to close three elementary schools, Moran says he supports tough decisions being made by Superintendent Katrina McCombs. Our, our schools deserve to have, you know, air conditioning like other suburban schools, you know, in, in, in the summer hot months during the school year. But more importantly, deserve to have the books, the curriculum to allow them to be competitive in this world as they get older. So what's next? I'm not going anywhere too far. I, I, I will remain in the city. Outside of some rest and relaxation with his growing grand kiddo family, we'll have more on that and the city's job growth when we see you at 5. Reporting from Camden, Sydney Long, NBC 10 News.